happy new year to all of you here we thank you god that you have been good to us throughout the year 2021 you have been blessing us leading us guiding us we thank you for all the deliverances and father god we praise you we respect you we come in one accord all of us who are here oh god to seek you this day we welcome you holy spirit in our midst you lead us you guide us giving us your wisdom understanding knowledge and fear of the lord so that we can accomplish what you want us to do today <clears throat> lord god we ask for a smoke screen around us as a sound and sight barrier against interloper satanists and evil spirits lord we ask for your presence with us your protection you are our shield you are our rear guard you are our buckler we ask for a shield of invisibility surrounding each of us from top bottom and each side lord we request you that you take control of all of our devices laptops mobile phones and internet connection and lord we just want to, to seek you and accomplish what you want us to do today in the name of yahushua hamashia we have prayed amen 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 Amen. Amen. Well, um, it's going to be really interesting, you know. And first of all, thank you, Lisa, for sending me those um, audios from Ian Clayton, talking about times and um, there's, you know, he made some, he did some prayers, you know, it's the same um, principle of removing what, removing oneself from. Um, the things that are not of God, you know, you remove and then you align with what God has for us, you know, the purposes, the plans, his own timings and all those things, you know, Kairos. Interestingly, um, I think it was a f that day that the Lord was talking to me about um, times and see times and certain times and seasons or the day after, you know, he had me looking at, so what there is an entity there's always reminded me that the last time we did them um, with through the metrics we did um redeeming time and seasons and creation um there was an entity that was you know he called for that has to deal with time and seasons so he reminded me that the end i went to look and like so, so i'm like Holy Spirit, so how do i find out so what entity that is you know the only entity that is uh, that is behind time and season he said do greek find out in the greek so i went to look and i found i was like so i was surprised you know to see chronos that's his name and that is what we have been using i remember but i didn't know that it was an entity i i knew that you know we just said oh if you're not doing chronos time you're doing um kairos time as in you're doing God's time is that is Kairos, and then Kronos is our regular. No, it is not our regular. Someone put us on on it. It is an entity, you know. Then under him he has um his um he has um he has his tribes. He has others. So if it's an entity, it means that there will be a lot of other things under him, um, systems and all those coordinations and all that. So found out that um. There were mentions of um, some names, but I didn't really um, follow up on those names. And I'm going to send the link on where I found out those things. But it's not um, I, I, on that. It's under um, Greek gods and um, and I think method uh, methodology and all those things. Hang on a second. Hold on a second. Sorry about that. I needed to take care of something. Anyway, um, so I found out that while I was now listening to 
um, the audio that Lisa sent to me on um, uh, from Ian Clayton, dealing with times. Then he started mentioning the zodiac signs, you know, that they put the twelve tribes of the. That I'm like, hey, those are the names. I also some of those names I I saw them on that um, under the they were mentioned as children of you know Cronus. They mentioned as children of Cronus. I know that some of those names. So and as I was like, okay, the Spirit of God was not linking it, okay, to the twelve tribes of Israel. Then he also mentioned the twelve tribes of uh, that's you know that's what each um of those zodiac signs what what they had they represent the twelve tribes of Israel, and then you come to link it to the um twelve um, months you know, and the Bible in Revelation chapter twenty two, you know and um, twenty one and twenty two twenty two and uh, verse two mentioned about, about you know yielding fruits you know for each. 12 fruits for, from the tree of life. Tree of life is, is, is Christ Jesus, you know, to be um, for the 12 months, you know, each one fruit, each fruit for the 12 months. So, but one of the striking things that really has, you know, that was on my mind and I was asking the Lord was, so if um, we, we look at um, the times and the seasons, okay, if we control the times, it control, they try to change the times and the seasons. So it's like, <laughs> It's so, it's so easy. Why is it so easy to receive, you know, when a prophetic word is given, it takes time, you know, you get to contend with it, do everything. But when a, a negative word is spoken, it's so easy to just see the manifestation of that word. You know, when it's so easy for what evil things that are programmed into these times and seasons you know, to manifest. It's so easy. Why is it like that? So I believe it's because there is um, um that we were now brought under that chronos when, you know, somehow all of us were now brought into that chronos. And, you know, remember in Ecclesiastes that there is time for everything. A time, um, and then also um, in Genesis, it says there is, um that, that uh, as long as the earth and heaven the endure there will be seed, time, and harvest, you know. So those things are all linked. And you find out that also that um what is sown when it's time for harvest for the good one, it's either it is um it's either because of the things that are that are that are the frequencies that are being released from the Kronos and his tribe and all the other things that work with and maybe his aliases as well, you know, that has been embedded in us for generation to generation, you know, in the genes and all that. Those those things make it easy for what they are saying for those negative words to be, to be fulfilled. So we need to be free. We need uh, to deal particularly to, to remove ourselves and our bloodlines and our DNA from and matrices from the um, f free from Kronos and his his um, his tribe you know and all his aliases and then align with what God is saying concerning us you know so bringing all of that that is all it's that is all what it's all about but I had to go into some of these specifics to try to help us to um, understand better what we'll be doing and the links, you know. Each, um, one way or the other, every bloodline has come under that, yes, under that, um, the dictates of, the dictates of, um, of Kronos and his tribes. One way or the other, we have come under it, you know. The calendar, the see, the times and the seasons we use have have have, have uh, subject to it, subjected to it. You know, we uh, um the Lord, the one that the Lord gave to the children of Israel was from Rosh Hashanah to you know, and then gave his feasts and all those things. But then they also you know because they copy whatever God is doing, they also you know, um, bought their own 
and um, and also have different activities. So they know that these are it's just like the um the the law of creation or the things, the principles and the laws that God has put down that govern creation. They know how to use it, you know, um, through rituals and sacrifices and incantations to use it for their good. It's the, I mean, the children of darkness, you know, it is time we, we remove that and, you know, set it, um, align it with what God is saying. Does anyone have anything they want to add to this or questions? Does anyone have anything they want to add? Yes. Okay, go ahead, um, Pramut, please. We agree with you what you are saying. And uh, we also understand that God created the 12 zodiac sign to represent the 12 tribes of Judah. And also, uh, the manipulation is done by the enemy. Now, we, we know that God talked while God was talking to Abraham, he said, Your children will be in exile for 400 years. But when we see it, it later that they took 440 years to come out of Egypt. So there was a delay of 40 years. So this is what enemy does. He knows that he has uh, lost the battle, but he still tries to. Uh, bring obstacles and incantation legislations and things like that so that he can uh, delay the time or people the, the thing is uh, the kingdom destiny of every person is interwoven with the will of God so he does not want any person to fulfill their own kingdom destiny because if somebody is fulfilling the kingdom destiny they are fulfilling the will of God so he brings those uh, disturbances and deviates them from for, for not doing it. And even when we see uh, Daniel praying, Daniel knew that the Babylonian exile will be for 70 years, but still he is interceding. He, he interceded with God in a very deep repentance and prayers so that there can be deliverance. And things can move in the right time of God, the Kairos time of God. We very much agree with you that every person who is born, they are affected because of our genealogies, our generational iniquities. Uh, whether we like it or not, our generation, our our ancestors have worshipped the sun, moon, stars, and constellations. They have worshipped and they have believed into all the astrological pursuits because they wanted to know the future they wanted to become successful and they were the greed was there and now the enemy who is working against the body of christ what is his plan his plan is that the people in the body of christ should not be able to achieve what god has planned for them so definitely we need to cleanse our timelines our uh, we need to reset the clock so that we can achieve what God wants us to do. Yes, yes, thank you. We need to have that reset, you know. And the 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 funny part of it too is the children of darkness, they are busy, they can they have been able to know how to go into the future and bring what is in the future, bring it to manifest for them now. You know, they they have uh, succeeded in doing that. You know, so they can take, for example, what is going on now. They know that it's supposed to be in the time of the um, um, tribulation, in the time of the antichrist, and all that. You know, but they want to bring it to present, take the future and bring it to present. And also, they can take. Um, they can yes, like Pramod was saying, they can take. Um, the kingdom can take what is meant for to happen now. They can, you know, they may not. They know they may not be able to stop it, but they keep, the, you know, bringing in delay until the person gets so frustrated that you don't want to keep pursuing what God has for us. Yes, Lisa. 
I don't know how he does this, but also he does manipulations with our individual timelines uh, where he tries to uh, weave things from the past or weave things into what's happening with us right now. I mean, and, and with God is saying that time is like fabric. This was, I'm still struggling with this, Janice, to be quite frank with you, but this is what I'm getting that our time is really like a fabric and it can be manipulated. And that's not something that we in the kingdom of, of God know about. So we don't understand how the enemy really, I mean, if you think about a piece of fabric, you can take a piece of, a piece of time from one dimension and sew it on to your current time. And, that, and I'm saying that because that was uh, one of the things that I had to deal with. The enemy was really trying to manipulate my time. And um, the Lord told me I, I had to deal with that. So I just think that this is timely. And, and, and I, I'm, I'm with you. We're behind, we're behind in our understanding of it. But thank God that we're being caught up. And I think that um, even what we're doing right, right now was just very timely. So I thank you for it. Praise God. Yeah, looking at the, um, as, as it um, is like a, a fabric that is being woven, so they can weave, they can take, you know, because they have seen the things that have happened. They brought some of those things. They caused some of those things. You know, they know the, they, they know the covenants and agreements they have that will give them legal rights so they can take, um, take the old and weave it, you know, lash it on the new overlay it through maybe renewal of new co new covenants or agreements or through our own ignorance of not knowing what is going on, you know? And um, um, I believe that is one of the reasons Paul said to contend with the prophecies that were given to you, contend with the promises and the prophet, but everywhere that were given to us to fight for it, to pray. But then sometimes we don't know how to pray because we don't have, we have limited um, understanding or revelation of, how to pray about an, uh, a, a, um, a promise. For me, for, uh, as an example, you know, I know the things that God has spoken to over my life when I was a child and I had an encounter with him and all those things. I know the things he said and everything that he said and confirmed, you know, by various prophets and all that over the years and all that, various, various people. But I felt that, I mean, God, you said it, you're going to bring it to pass. There's no point in, you know, I can thank you for bringing it to pass, but... I never really understood that you have to war. And if you're warring, how do you war? Because you can fight effectively an opponent that you don't know who, who, who he is or who they are and what their modus operandi is. You know, it becomes difficult to fight an opponent that you don't know how they operate. So, but it, it was some years ago that um, I think about this time, about seven years ago or so, that the Lord started opening my eyes and ears to understand and see, you know, by other, through other, um, other people too, you know, um, like Bishop Oedipo in um, Nigeria, you know, I, you know, and he, I heard him say, contend for the, for the prophecies given to you, which war? I'm like, hmm, huh? that woke me up. I'm like, which war? So yeah, yeah, otherwise it's not going to come to pass. You have to fight for it. Yes, um, Pramod, you, you have your hands um, lifted up. In agreement to what you and Lisa are saying, uh, God created the sun, moon, stars. They are the element. They are the elements which design the time. They set the time for us. They are the and the seasons. And here in Psalms one twenty one, it is written, "The sun shall not smite you by day, nor the moon by night." That means sun and moon can smite you. That means they are manipulating the sun, moon, stars, and constellations to against us. And wherever we are, even if we change the country, the sun, we cannot, uh, we we will not be uh, saved from the effects because the manipulation is done in the sun, moon, stars, and constellations. So wherever you go, it will follow you. So as as you have been rightly saying, and even Lisa is saying that we need to deal with this. Yes, and when they when they are pronouncing it, what they do is they they, they even do at the time of the inception, in, at the time of the birth, they 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 speak 
their uh, prophecies they speak their words they they bring the effects of all the astrological understandings and this is done very uh, meticulously and every and and that they do it in their timelines now this is new moons full moons the eclipse and also solstice and we are doing it in a right time because in december we had an a lunar eclipse and a solar eclipse and also winter solstice so this were the gate of times for them to do all the manipulations to affect us and their their fight is not with anybody else people who are not with christ are already with them the fight is against the people in the body of christ yeah that is that is so true you know um as far as god is concerned in the heavens that um everything is all done when we pray when we come into this um room and all the, and the courts you know to spend time with god and all those things there yeah, it is all done he gets it done but then the it is between it is done and the reality as in moving it from that heaven collapsing the veil between or the the border between the heaven and the earth you know bringing it into full manifestation that is where um sometimes we don't see the reality that's why sometimes we don't see the prayers we've prayed the words will come holding on to those things don't we, we sometimes we don't see them come to pass not because in terms of for me i like to leave everything that it i'm i want to see that everything is touched as the holy spirit directs you know to make sure that the only thing that is remaining is is, is god's own timing that he's the one that it, it's holding it you know to now bring it to pass at his own timing and not that there is a that is um if the force of darkness that is hindering it you know some people are hindering it so they know why am i saying this is because the children of darkness they know that it is a matter of who is going to take control of what happens on the earth who is in charge you know who is how are they going to bring their own agenda because them bringing they understand it is a warfare thing they know so they they seek it out they seek out knowledge they seek out um they do whatever it takes for them to know how to get the, to manipulate the earth to, because god, god has set all these things in place it's a matter of whosoever whosoever would want whosoever you know works it that it works for the person you, you know or how are you going to use it to work it out for us we want to use the word we want to use whatever the holy spirit is giving us to work it out um on the earth however um we have really really been in, in um, living in ignorance for too long that is why they have been taken over but i believe that these things are going to be different this time around things are going to be different if the lord is giving us a revelation it means that you know it is time for um for him to shift us you know to where he wants us to be okay so we are going to start with praise and thanksgiving uh, most likely we are going to the court of creation that is where we will do most of the things today but on our way to the court of creation we are going to um head into the chambers of our god you know of our father um and that he's gifted with thanksgiving and his courts with praise there's so much to be thankful for if 2021 didn't work out the way for me personally it didn't work out the way there were other things i had expected to happen but it didn't happen but 2022 our time has come our season has come you know every new year always starts with so much excitement you know and if you're one of those people that set goals and then at the end of the year you look at your goals you find that majority of it, you you, you, you didn't achieve them maybe you should stop set, setting goals and just bring a plain sheet of paper before god and say okay lord you fill it out however you want to fill it out fill out the whatever you want to add, give to me this year that's what i want to contend for for the year okay so that's most likely um what we're going to do and then we are going to have um we are going to release the word you know one of the things these are the three the word comes in three forms that we use to reprogram anything or reset ourselves you know and anything whether it is time whether it is life whether it is space whether it is you know matter anything you can use to you know it is the word the word what he uses he used to create and 
whenever you're seeking, he gives you the word, you know, he gives you his word. So when I say it's verbally or any other way of communication, that's what God does. So we are going to do the, um, we're going to remove and then we're going to reset. So that's what we'll do in the room of, in the court of creation. However, on our way, we will stop in his chambers to find a bit. There might be other things he wants us to look at or he wants to show us more revelation. And then I believe we might still need to go into the room of um, repentance to do some repentance as the Holy Spirit directs us before we head out into, um, we head to the court of creation. So where we will do the removal and then we're setting into the new, okay? Into what God has for us. So it's good to have um, the word who can come in the, in the form of prophecies. The Bible, these are prophetic words that were given to the people. Even the law that were, give, that were given to Moses came as a prophetic word. But God spoke it to him, spoke those things to him. So um, it could come as prophecies, it could come as promises that God has given, whether it is in scripture, whether it is in uh, or a word that's given to you, you know, that's also a prophetic promise. That, that that's what or you can come as the scriptures, the Holy Spirit breathing on the scriptures, you know, that He gives, He gives, He gives to us. Why it is important to um um how how do I come to know that? It's because you know all the times I've dealt in the court of um all the years that I've been in the um, dealing with the court of heaven, the Lord will say so. Um, he was, he, the Holy Spirit gave the direction, bring this, bring this word, bring that word. Or he started breathing on those words, you know, and giving, say, okay, I gave you that prophet, pro, 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 prophetic promises before. Use it to, um, you know, to replace what you've removed. If you remove, replace, don't leave any vacuum. Don't leave any vacuum. So if we don't finish, that is fine. Um, um, as in releasing the word and all that, we we'll release as much as we can, you know, to use it to reprogram. What you can also continue to do on your own, you know, because that is what, and we'll also need the names of God. You know, I keep hearing the people said we will need to um, release the names of God. And I think um, um, early 2021, he had um, myself and the team that, you know, I was praying with too. We, you know, he had us, you know, put his name for each month of the year. For each month of the year, you know, you release his name and all those things. So it is important that we release the name of God. What it does is not just to praise his name. The name of God, the names of God, his name is powerful. He said he has exalted his name and his word above everything else. He has exalted his name and his word above everything. We're going to use them. And so when you're releasing the name, the names of God, it's what it does also is, you know, it releases the power, the virtues, the essence of who God is, is really releasing it into what you're directing his name towards, where it is towards yourself and towards the angels that work with that God is assigned to you, towards your stars, towards different things. The names of God, are, they are so powerful. Yes, Pramud? Yeah, the same thing I was sensing about declaring the names of God and I, I it, we are in confirmation of it. Because uh, we have been doing a lot of things in dealing timelines, and what what I am sensing is enforcing the blood of Christ. We are the enforcing agency of God on the earth, and we are to enforce what God has completed on the cross through the blood of Christ, and also it, it, it release blessings, speaking the names of God. This is what I was sensing. Yes. 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 So, and one of the things too that the names would do for us is. We do not know the details of everything that we are up against. We do not know the details of everything. And the Lord will not, will not, probably will not tell us the details. He doesn't tell us the details all at once. It's over time that he probably will give you as much as he wants to. So, and the workings, how they all connect together and work work together, we do not know. Okay, and really it's, it's not for us to know. Jesus already paid that price for us to be free from it so but when we release the names of god it goes it penetrates into the every even to the strands you know to every detail it paints and recalibrates it you know changes it you know so that is that, that is important the names and the word those those two are important for us to use we we'll apply the blood through repentance and also we can also apply the blood however the holy spirit directs us okay so 
um, who would want to do Thanksgiving for us? This is um, going to be wonderful, you know, to do. We really will have so much to be thankful for. Yes. Who would want to do Thanksgiving for us? Uh, Janice? Yes, ma'am. Can I ask, uh, before we start, I need prayers. I'm not feeling well. <laughs> the whole night, uh, I feel my body is burning. Uh -oh. And uh, I had this, uh, okay, in the dream, like I was sleeping, I was seeing like we're in prayers. <laughs> and then uh, I hear that, oh, let the elders, uh, if anyone is sick, let the elders like pray you know, for that scripture. Yeah. Okay. And then uh, I saw, I think Brenda or someone was bringing me like an orange or something like she, she was praying for me or something like that. But yeah, the whole night, um, that's how I'm feeling. Like, yeah. I was feeling like I feel heat in my body inside. Like, so I just woke up and took like some Panadol and then I'm also coughing. Okay. Okay. Thank God. Thank God. Thank God for your healing. So we will enter with Thanksgiving and praise. When we get into the Father's chambers, we will pray for you there. Okay. Okay. We'll pray for you in the Father's chambers. You are already healed. Thank you, Lord. So who wants to do Thanksgiving for us? Who is filled with Thanksgiving? Oh, my Thank you, Lord. Who's praying? No, no, no. You don't get started now. You will just let me know, and then uh, I will look for who's going to do praise. Who wants to do, thanks who wants to do Thanksgiving for us? Uh, okay, somebody else is going to do it. Okay, Brenda, you can do Thanksgiving. I'm, I, I don't know. Um, well, someone else going to... I didn't hear that voice well. Who was, who was going to do this? The Thanksgiving? Who wanted to start before? Yeah, you can do Thanksgiving for us. Um, Abby, can you do praise for us? Yes, ma'am. Okay, and um, Rebecca, can you also do praise for us? Okay, okay, Rebecca is not there. Who else can also do Thanksgiving? We need to really thank, we are, the, are we not grateful? We have to thank God. Okay, Pramud will do Thanksgiving as well. So Brenda and Pramud, who else can also do um, praise? I can do any praise or thanksgiving. Okay, you will do um, praise after Abby, okay? So, Brenda, get us started. Thank you. Oh, praise the Lord. Praise God. Yeah. Praise God. Father Excuse God, we yeah. thank you. Even uh, Teresa has raised her hand for praise. Oh, I didn't not, not notice that, um, Teresa. Sorry about that. Are you fine? Okay, yeah, you can that's do fine. Yeah, That's okay. Oh, okay. Okay, thank sorry. You. Okay, go ahead, Brenda. Thank you, Father God. We thank you. We thank you, Lord God. We thank you. We praise you. Oh, Lord God of Israel, you are worthy of all. Everything, Lord God. Every person that is here, Lord God. I know that is grateful. We are grateful to be alive in 2022. Father God, we thank you. We thank you and we praise you. We honor you. We bless you. We magnify your name because you are worthy, Lord God. You are worthy. You are our Father, Lord God. Even though um, a lot of people don't know that, you are our Father. And we thank you today, Lord God. We thank you at this very hour as we step into um, this time, as we step into this time, Lord God. We invite you as we step into this time. And the curtain is open, the door is open, and we enter in with thanksgiving and with praise, and we honor you, Father God. We thank you for the breath, the very breath that is in our nostrils today. We thank you, Lord God, that you watch over us. We thank you, Lord God, that you give us life. You give us choices, and we choose life today. We thank you, Lord God. We thank you, Father God. 
for the so many benefits that you have given to us in this earth, Lord God. You've given us time and times and times and seasons, Lord God. You've given it to us. And we thank you for that, Lord God. You've given us your son, your own son, Lord God. You yourself came, Lord God. And we thank you for that, Lord God. We thank you for the precious blood that was shed on Calvary for each and every one of us. We thank you for forgiveness, Lord God. We thank you, Father God. We thank you, Lord God. Going into this season, Lord God, we thank you. We thank you, Lord God, that you've given us eyes to see and ears to hear what the Spirit of God is saying. And we thank you today, Lord God. Thank you, Father God, for all that you have done, Lord God. We thank you so much, Lord God for what you have done in the past, Lord God, in the present, and Lord, what you're going to do in the future. We look forward to everything that you have planned for us, and we thank you. We give you praise. We honor you, Lord God, and we thank you this very moment in Yeshua's name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Father God, we thank you. We appreciate you. We thank you. We are grateful. We all who have gathered here, we thank you. Thank you for your kindness, goodness, mercies. We thank you for your provisions throughout the year 2021. We thank you for being good with us, kind with us, merciful with us. We thank you. We thank you, Lord, that you have walked with us. You have not left us. You have not forsaken us, but you were God, Emmanuel. We thank you. We thank you that you have been God of resources to us. Thank you for the continuous supply of air, water, electricity, food, and all resources. Oh God, we thank you. We thank you, Lord, that we didn't have to gasp for our next breath. It comes easily. It's available. Lord, we thank you. We thank you, God, that you are mighty. You are gracious. You are powerful. We thank you, God, that you chose us, you separated us, O oh God. We thank you, Father God, that you are being with us so that we can be faithful to you. It is your faith which is working in us. We thank you. We thank you that it is the Holy Spirit which is working in us. And Lord, it is renewing of our mind. As Lord, we are walking with you from one glory to another. Lord, transforming into the image and likeness of Christ, we thank you. We thank you, Lord, that you have not seen our weaknesses. You have not dealt us according to our sins. Lord, we thank you that you have been gracious. You have been slow to anger, abounding in mercy towards us. And Lord, you turned our weaknesses, O oh God, in your strength. And you have released your blessings over us to bring deliverances, O oh God. We thank you. We thank you, God, for answering prayers on national and international level. We thank you for answering prayers on individual levels. We thank you for all your plans and purposes, O oh God. We thank you. We thank you, O oh Father God, that you are giving us your Holy Spirit, who is leading us and guiding us. We thank you that throughout the year, Lord, you have been talking to us, telling us what to do, and Lord, you were enjoying our presence. You were, you were happy, smiling at us because we were doing prayers as per your will. Lord, we thank you. Lord, we thank you for all our associations. We thank you for our friends. We thank you for our relatives. We thank you, O oh God, for this group who has gathered here together. We thank you for Grace Corp. We thank you for all the intercessors in India, Nigeria, America, and intercessors around the world. We thank you, O oh God, for the body of Christ. We thank you for all blessings. Lord, we thank you that you are sovereign. You are sovereign over us. You are God in control. You are the reigning king. We thank you. We thank you, God, that you are moving with you. We thank you, O oh Father God, that you love us. Lord, we thank you that it is love that you have chosen us. It is your love O oh God, that you gave your only son for us. We thank you for the greatest sacrifice on the cross, which was done for us. We thank you for the Holy Spirit. We thank you for the blood of Christ. We thank you for the new covenant that Yahushua Hamashi has made with you and with us. 
that Lord, he has renewed the covenant through the blood sacrifice on the cross. We thank you. Oh, we appreciate you. We thank you, God. Oh, we thank you, Father God. We thank you, thank you, thank you for, from the bottom of our hearts. We thank you. We kneel down and we lay. Uh, we thank you, O oh God, for all the crowns. We give you back those crowns, O oh God. We thank you. We thank you, O oh Father God. We thank you. In the name of Yahushua Hamashiach, we have thanked God. Amen. Amen. Oh, Father, how glorious, how faithful, how good. And we come, O oh God, with praise. Say, Praise ye the Lord, praise God, in his sanctuary worship the King, in the firmament of his power. Praise ye the Lord, we praise you, we praise you Lord, in his sanctuary we worship you. In the firmament of your power, praise ye the Lord, hallelujah, praise God. In his sanctuary, worship the Lord. In the firmament of his power, we give you all the glory. We give you all the glory. We give you all the glory, Lord. We give you all. No, we give you. We give you. We give you all the glory, Yeshua. We give you all the glory, you are worthy, Lord. We give you all the glory, Lord. We give you all oh, praise God, oh praise God, hallelujah, oh praise God, amen, praise God, hallelujah, praise God, amen, we bow before you today. With all our hearts, we say, praise God, hallelujah, yes, Lord, praise God, amen, praise God, hallelujah, praise God, amen. Oh, Father, what can we say? How can we praise you enough? You are worthy. Father, we praise you. We praise you. Oh my God, we are filled with so much. Our hearts are filled. Lord, personally, I don't even know how to say thank you or how to praise you enough for all you have done for your goodness, for your mercy, for your loving kindness, for your faithfulness, for your grace, oh God, for meeting us every day, every minute, oh God, when we call upon you, you answer. Lord, my God, for never leaving us, never, never forsaking us. Father, for being true to yourself, for being true to your name, Lord, we praise you. Father, we give you glory. We honor you. We magnify your holy name. Father, Lord, my God, you have given us all things freely. Freely, oh God, even when you did not even spare your son, Jesus Christ, you gave it to us. How much more would you give us all things freely? Father, we are grateful. Thank you. We praise you, Jehovah Yahweh. We praise you, Jehovah Nisi. We praise you for being, oh God, our mighty God, our healer, Jehovah Rapha. We praise you, Jehovah El Shaddai, our all-sufficient God. We praise you, Jehovah Shammah, our God who is present 
present always with us. Oh, we are so grateful. We give you glory. We magnify your holy name. Father, we bless you. We bless you. We praise you for the Holy Spirit. Oh, always with us, comforting us, helping us, providing for us every wisdom we need, directing us. Lord, what a huge, huge gift you have given us, oh God. We are so, oh Lord, hey, hey, we are so joyful. We are so glad. Father, we praise you. We bless your holy name. We magnify your glorious, your eyes, your, your, your almighty, your all exceeding, exceeding great name. Father, we bless your holy name. Thank you, Father. We bless you. We bless you. We exalt you. Oh, Jehovah, you are worthy. You are glorious. We bow down before you. You are the one who goes before us. You are the one who prepares, oh God, are the way for us. You are the one who shines upon us, oh God, with your light. What can we say? You are the one who you do all this, oh God. We are grateful to be recipients. We praise you, Lord. We worship you. Thank you, Lord. Blessed be your holy name, Father. Oh, in Jesus' mighty name, we do pray. Amen. Okay, um, Pastor Ann? Hallelujah. <clears throat> Father, we, we continue to just praise you this morning, this hour. We praise you, O oh Lord. Praise the Lord, O oh my soul. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, for the Lord is good. Father, we praise you, for you are a good God. We praise you for who you are. We praise you for being the great I am. We praise you, O oh God, for being the, cr the creator of all things, the one in whom all things consist. We praise you, O God, while we have breath, O God. We praise you, the one that has been, the one that is and is to come. We, we praise you, the omniscient, omnipotent, omnipresent God. We praise you, the one that is higher than high, the high and the lofty one. We praise you, O oh, the God that has clothed himself with majesty. We praise you, the Father of light, in whom there is no variableness or shadow of turning. We praise you, the ever faithful God. Hallelujah. We praise you. We praise you, the glorious God. The God that sits in the heavens and has made the earth his full soul. We praise you, O oh God. The God that rides upon the heavens by his name. The God that rides upon the wings of the wind. We praise you, O God, the majestic one, the, the chief judge of the whole earth. The one that is bigger than big. The one that is greater than great. The one that is higher than high. The one that is deeper than deep. The one that is wiser than wise. We praise you, most high. We praise you, O oh God, the God of covenants. We praise you, the small oh God, this hour. We praise you, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. We praise you, O oh God, the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. We praise you, O oh God, the great I am, the one who speaks uh, and all his creation stands at attention. We praise you, O oh God, uh, the miracle worker. We praise you, the God of signs and wonder. We praise you, the way maker. We praise you, O God. You are worthy. You are worthy of all our praises. You are worthy to receive glory and honor. You are the God that has clothed yourself, O God, 
with light. Lord, as a garment, you are the God who are the, are the wave of your hand, oh God. River Jordan stood still. At the sound of your voice, at your command, oh God, the Red Sea parted into two. You are the God that brought forth water from the rock. You are the bread of life. You are the fountain of the living water. We praise you this morning. The high and the mighty one, Jehovah Gibor, the man of war. We praise you, the Lord of hosts, the Lord of the heavens army, the commander in chief of God's army. We praise you, oh, the God whose voice sounds like the many waters. We praise you, we praise you, the I am, we praise you, oh, we praise you. The Lord, our God, our Father, the O God, the Holy One of Israel, the one in whom there is no, no sin, no spots, uh, the sinless Lamb of God, the, the Holy Lamb of God, the only Lamb of God. We praise you this morning. Oh, you are worthy. Everything answers to you. Everything revolves around you. You are the God who speak and it's established. You watch your word to bring them to pass. You are worthy. You are worthy of our praises this morning. You are worthy, oh God. You are worthy to receive honor. You are worthy to receive glory. You are worthy to receive adoration. We worship you. We praise and bow before you. Oh, we dance at your throne, oh God. For you alone are awesome. You alone are worthy. You alone are glorious. You alone are powerful. You are higher than high. You are mightier than mighty. You are the only one God. Besides you, there is no other God. We praise you. We praise you. We praise you. We praise you. Let everything that has breath in us praise you. We praise you from the depths of our soul for all that you are, for all that you do, for all that you will do. The creator of all things, we praise you. The God who calls the things that be not as though they were, we praise you. Oh, the God who gives sight to the blind, we praise you praise you. The God who gives hearing to the deaf, we give you praise. The God who causes the lame man to walk, we praise you. The God who gives, oh God, speech to the dumb, we praise you. The resurrection and the life, we praise you. Oh, we praise you, oh God. You are the God that has never lost a battle. <laughs> oh, you are the warrior of warriors. We praise you, O oh God. We praise your majesty. We praise your greatness. We praise your awesomeness. We praise you for who you are. We praise you. We praise you, mighty God. Oh, our Elohim. We praise you, Jehovah El Shaddai, God that is more than enough, the all blessed God. We praise you. We praise you, Jehovah Nisi. We praise you, our God, our righteousness. We praise you, Jehovah Shalom, our peace. We praise you. We praise you. You are worthy. Only you are worthy. Only you are worthy. Only you are worthy. Receive our praises, oh God. We praise you, oh God. We praise you, we praise you, we praise you. We bless your holy name. Hallelujah, hallelujah to you, oh God. The chief judge of the whole earth. Hallelujah to you who sits in the heavens and has made the earth your footstool. Hallelujah to you who sits in the center of the earth. Hallelujah. We praise you, O oh God. 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 Hallelujah to your name. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah to the God whose eyes are eyes of fire. We praise you. Hallelujah. 
Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Oh, when you rise up, everything bows before you. We praise 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 you. The sun, the moon, and the star, they praise you. Even the birds of the air, they chant your praise. We praise you, oh God. We praise you, oh God. Worthy, worthy is our God. We praise you. We praise you. We praise you. We praise you. Receive all our praise this morning. Because you Amen. alone are in Jesus' name. We Amen. have praise. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Father, we praise your holy name, O Lord. We thank you so much, mighty God. What a wonderful Father you are. We ask for your permission to step into your chambers, Almighty God. Our Father. Father, we come in the name and by the blood of Jesus. We've entered your gates, your gates with thanksgiving and your courts with praise. Yes, Lord. Hallowed be your holy name. Mighty God, you are so wonderful. You're so excellent. You know, the revelation of who you are as Father is because you have made us. We want to thank you for making us visible, visible display of who you are in the earth. Yes. And when they look at us, they can see you, the kind of father that we have, a generous, generous kind father. So father, we come in. So grateful, so grateful, so grateful, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, we come in with all, like Paul said that, you know, he puts the past behind him. We come in with our pasts, we put in your hands. With our present, we put in your hands. We come in with our future, we put in your hands. We take our past, our present, and our future from everywhere else that they have been hidden. Or under the control of any, any everyone else or anyone else but you we collect them we gather them yes lord by the blood of the lamb and we put them in your hands yes for jesus christ our yeshua also redeemed our past our present and our future mm -hmm. so we put in your hands oh lord So, and we put our, our, ourselves, yes, but then let's all the anxieties, all the concerns, all the worries put in his hands. You know, the things that you had expected, you know, the disappointments, the conflicts, you know, all the things that you had expected for the, from the past year, you know, or are even still prevalent in your life, just roll them all up and put it in his hands. Yes, Lord, all that we had expected, when we expected, what a roller coaster of expectations and timings that we went through in 2021. Lord, we will we'll take all of that and put it in your hands. You know, the wars, the battles, all that we have fought through, Lord, or we are faced with the challenges, mighty God, we put in your hands. The weariness, the pains, the hurts, the sickness, the disease, the um the lack, the stress. We roll everything up and put in your hands, oh Lord. We just give it to you. We release. Also, we put in your hands all, all our heart, our soul, our mind, our body. Every component of our persons and all of our families and bloodlines and DNA and mattresses, oh Lord. We put in your hands. You've got the whole world in your mighty, mighty, mighty hands, oh Lord. Hmm. All our hopes that were shattered, all our um, 
or or deferred you know the delays the stagnations the detours you know we put in your hands oh lord the betrayals yes lord we put in your hands everything lord the offenses we put in your hands we refuse to leave in offense no we put everything in your hands oh lord And we receive your peace. We receive your miracles. We receive your signs, your wonders. We receive your gifts. We receive your, yes, your provisions. We receive your healing. We receive all. Yes, your deliverance. And Lord, we bring joy into your hands, oh Lord. We bring, we bring joy. Yes, joy is here. Yes. Um. Brenda, can you pray for joy, please, for her healing? So Father God, this morning, we stand before you, and we bring our sister joy. <laughs> and Lord God, your word says that Sickness and diseases are a curse. They should not be on our sister because she belongs to you, Father God. She belongs to you. You have redeemed her from that curse. So anything that is operating in her right now is not legal. So we ask that the blood of Yeshua would cleanse her. Lord, that she would stand upright. And the two things that's holding her up or wanting her to bow down. I don't know, I've seen a picture, but I'm not understanding why. Oh God, that you would put her upright in the name of your son, Yeshua. We ask that you shine your light, Father God, and remove anything that is not of you. You've already redeemed her. She is healed. And we ask, Lord God, that those two that stands beside her, that is causing her to feel the way she feels, Lord God, we ask that you would remove them in the name of your son, Yeshua. Every word spoken against her would be removed. That she could stand upright. We thank you, Lord God, that she is healed. In the name of Jesus of Nazareth. Oof. Thank you, Lord. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Wait a minute. Thank you, Lord. 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 Thank you. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Um, I'm going to say this picture I saw is like this. Um, like she's bowed down. Uh, her knees, her, you know, it's like she's not able to walk. Somebody with come. There's a, there are people, two people on both sides of her that is causing her to be weak need. I don't know what something. Mm -hmm. cool, yeah. Okay. okay. Almighty God, our Father, the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, we thank you, Lord. You went to any, every length to give us your son, Jesus Christ, who paid the price in full for us. Mighty God, you said you are willing to give up any barriers and anyone else for our sake. Lord. These two people have touched the apple of your eye, and that is joy. Lord, now give them up and rebuke them. Mighty God, rebuke them concerning your daughter. Lord, you said that healing is the children's bread. 
Lord rebuke them. Hmm. And Lord, whatever is it any tongue that rises against us in judgment, we shall condemn. Almighty God and Father, the words they are releasing, those curse words they are releasing over joy, Lord, we gather them by the blood of Jesus Christ and by the wind of the Spirit of God. And Lord, we cast them down, condemning them to death and their tongues to death, null and void. They shall speak no longer over her. Those words, yes, let your angels gather them, all of them, no letter missing. Gather all of them together and we cast them into the fire of the Holy Spirit, commanding them to burn completely totally out with no trace of them. And we declare and decree over joy that by the stripes of Jesus Christ, she is healed and made whole. Yes, Lord, we let the angels feed her the bread of life. And Lord, yes, and with um and give her the living water. Jesus Christ, the Son of the Living God. Yes, let the living water run from the crown of her head to the soles of her feet and wrap her, Lord, with your arms. Wrap her in your arms. Wrap her in your arms, wrap her in her, your arms, wrap her in your arms, O oh Lord. Let the fire of the Holy Spirit douse, douse, douse every fire that is burning. Yes, the fire of the enemy that has been released on her. Let the fire, the Spirit of God, douse it, nullifying it completely and totally out now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh, and let the cool breeze of the Lord blow upon joy now. Yes, Lord. We rebuke that spirit of infirmity. Lord, yes, that's, yes, 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 yes. That be, yes, other aliases that, they, that um, they came with, mighty God. Lord, rebuke them in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, yes, take away from them seven folds of water they stole from her including all the substance in their houses. Yes, and these human collaborators, oh Lord, they have violated their um, receiving order for too long. Mighty God. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. Lord, also it is for freedom that Christ has made her free. Therefore, she is free indeed. Yes, and release your peace, your wholeness, your soundness, your wealth, fair your well-being and prosperity upon her from the yeshua that is her messiah Thank you, Lord. Thank her groom in the mighty name of jesus christ amen and amen and amen thank you lord yeah thank you lord it is done it is done Yes, thank you for wrapping your light around her, Lord. Yes, your light around her in Jesus' name. Amen and amen and amen. Thank you, Lord. Okay, Father, um, we present to you the, what you said we should do today, the resetting of our time, seasons, and um, yes, for the new year, oh, Lord. Um is how do you want us to go the the strategy you want us to use yes lord what apart from the um all the other information that the spirit god has given to us what else do you want to give to us oh lord yes we need your help for without you we can do nothing almighty god without you we can do nothing and we don't want to do anything without you we know that we cannot successfully um, contend with our enemies, O oh Lord, without you, and we don't want to anyway.
Yes, Lord. Open our eyes, precious Holy Spirit. Give us wisdom, give us understanding. Open our ears, our yes, our spiritual senses, O oh Lord, to hear you clearly. Tell us what to do, how to do it, where to do it. Mm -hmm. If you change anything on us, that is fine. Let us know. If you're seeing anything, if you're hearing anything, if you're perceiving anything, let us know. Even if you think it's a thought, you know, thoughts are voices. So it could be the Lord telling you something or that your spirit is picking something from the Father or the Spirit or the, or the, or the Lord Jesus. We are in his chambers. You know, um, I'm hearing dedications, you know, a lot of that could even predate, um, that could also be pre-Adamic, you know. A lot of dedications that were done over the gener over from generation to generation and all those things and um, paved the way, you know. Dedication made to the kingdom of darkness paved the way. However, it's also paved the way for them to, you know, the harvest that are due to us to go to them. But then it also those dedications, you know, so that the, the we may be seeing that makes us to see maybe a little harvest or no harvest. You know, the, God cannot lie; His word is ever true. His word is ever true, you know. So we would need to do some repentance on that, you know. Sometimes the dedications are done through names they give that child or the jet or the bloodlines, you know, the names that they take on or the community or the village. Sometimes it's done in through names, it's done through words spoken, you know, spoken words that's you know, we're dedicating this child or this bloodline or this family, you know, to so one way or the other there is this interwoven thing about dedications you know, um, made to that um, um, entity, demonic entity, over um, um, time and seasons. That gave them legal right, that gave them the legal rights to steal or hinder our harvests. Anyone else? Are you perceiving something? Hearing something? I'm hearing a okay. song. Mm -hmm. What is a song? And I, I know I've heard the song before. It goes. <laughs> and part of the words are. Up and down we wander, up and down we wander. Hmm. No more wandering. Like going in circles. Up and down we wander, or we wander sideways. Up and down we wander, like not coming to a resting place, not coming to a destination is it i think so like forever seeking forever seeking yeah going in so forever seeking yeah not coming to a resting place 
Oh, Father, Mashandra, Katara, Pesta, Katara, Pesta, Katara, Katara. Anyone else? Thank you for that. Um, so why are we never coming to our destination, the, the destination that the Lord has for us, or coming into what he has for us, Lord? Why are we not coming into it? Just so let me start. add, when, yes. when Teresa started saying that, I immediately re was reminded of the scripture where um, the Lord told the children of Israel, you have circled around this mountain long enough to go forward. I looked up the scriptures in Deuteronomy 2 and 3. So I don't know if that has, but that when she said that, that that's, that just reminded me of, of them just how they continue to circle around the mountain long enough. And he said, you know, to um, go forward, I think he said, it was a scripture. Let me read it. Uh, <coughs> is it in Deuteronomy or is it in? Uh... Deuteronomy 2 verses, it looks like 1 through 3. Okay. Go ahead, please. I don't want to read that. Okay, hold on. You have compassed this mountain long enough. Turn you northward. Mm -hmm. Praise God. Praise God. Yeah. Praise God. We have wandered enough. Time to mm -hmm. reset and realign with it. Yeah, go forward. And the Amplified says, you have roamed around this mountain country long enough. So you have compass, you've traveled, you've been going, you've wandered. Another another uh, translation says, but you've been traveling around this mountain, this region long enough. Turn north, turn north. So I just wanted to submit that to you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So that's... Um confirmation that we have thank you thank you anyone else okay okay so we have wondered are we and our generations and our dna so it is important that when we step into you know as we navigate we, we bring all everyone that is connected you know with our family our bloodlines our dna our matrices so that's not when we finish the work you know someone else they will go somewhere and recreate no we don't want that this we have wandered long enough we've you know and not coming into the um into the purposes of promises of what i've seen as we have done that long enough so it's time to come into it yes pastor Yen? Um, I'm just, <clears throat> I'm just hearing. It's time to arise and advance, advance forward, Praise arise, God. advance forward. Yeah. Amen. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for that. Time to arise and advance forward. Okay. So we thank you, Father. Thank you for the um, revelations. Thank you for giving us understanding of. Um, what to do yes what do you want us to focus on you know it is really time so i'm coming to total agreement with what you've said you know to move forward it, we've wandered um around this mountain of time and uh, with its um timelines and delays and detours and all that you know and um stagnation and all that it is time to move forward we totally agree with you and we thank you for that oh lord the holy spirit working us and through us to accomplish it this in this session lord in jesus mighty name amen and amen okay we're going to step into the um room of repentance okay um in order for us to help each other to move navigate this quickly i will start the um the repentance and if there is anything i didn't go along with me where you are stay muted please go along and then um if there is any one i didn't cover or the spirit of god is laying in your heart please Go ahead and then we'll take it. Let's get through the repentance um, quickly. I believe we need to do that for the, especially, we've done a lot of repentance in this area, but I believe this specific one because um, the Lord was showing me that entity, um, Kronos had um, uh, paper, you know, like legal rights, you know, 
called dedication. That's he said, oh, dedications that were done, you know, to him. So those where there's, you know, family bloodlines. We may not even be part of um, know about it, but we are going to repent, you know, about um, dedications and members of our bloodlines, our DNA or matrices may have done, and, and even we ourselves may have done to this demonic entity and his tribe or his aliases. Okay. So as we go through those repentance, let's get through them quickly. We've done a lot of repentance before, you know, and um, this thing that the Lord is bringing, we do it. And if there's anyone else that he brings that, that we didn't cover, please let's cover it and, and we can go into the room of creation and time to move forward. Okay. So Father, we ask for your permission to step into your room of repentance. Thank you for the blood of Jesus Christ that has been shed for us, O Lord. Thank you for your living water with which you used to cleanse us. Together with the blood of Jesus Christ, O Lord. Your living water that also brings healing and restoration to us, O Lord. And thank you for the fire of the Holy Spirit with which you used to purify us, sanctify us unto yourself, O Lord. Mighty God, where would we be if you didn't pay the price in full for us? Lord Jesus, if you didn't die for us, if you didn't, if you didn't um, shed your blood for us, where would we be? Thank you that you paid the price in full for us. Thank you for the blood that has been shed for us. Thank you for being such a wonderful, wonderful father, the, the good God, the good father that laid down his life for his own. Thank you. And Lord, we come, O oh Lord, for ourselves, for our families, our bloodlines, our households, our DNA, and our matrices, O oh Lord. All the way to Adam and Eve. Come. And we repent, mighty God, for all the dedications to demonic entities that have been done. As well, with regards to our times and seasons, even to be to um to pre Adamic beings that tied us to outside of the times and seasons you have for us, O oh Lord. We repent, Almighty God, for rebelling against you and going into profane worship. of Kronos and his tribes and his aliases, O oh Lord. We repent for all the rituals, the sacrifices that were made to him. We made to him and his tribes, O oh Lord. And, and, and to all the other forces of darkness. We repent, Almighty God, for looking at them and seeking them for what was, what is, and what is to come. Fearing them, seeking their counsel, rather than seeking you, the only true God who made us, who has plans for us that are good. Oh Lord and not evil. We repent, mighty God, for swearing oaths, making vows to these demonic entities and their tribes, O oh Lord. 
to repent for acting in agreement with them and their evil agendas and assignments, so oh Lord. We repent for giving up our children, dedicating them to them, O oh Lord. Ming yes, mingling our blood with them. Mighty God. Subjecting the sun, the moon, the stars, the planets, all the elements of creation and items, O oh Lord, all of your creature that you put under us under our stewardship, we subject it to that. We give them and put them under their stewardship. Under their own control to manipulate them as they deem fit. Yes, those frequencies have been, been, you know, being released into us, into our lives. But Father, we repent of it, and today it ends, so Lord, right here, right now. We repent, Almighty God, for, rather than you know releasing Your words into um into creation, programming with Your words, releasing Your words to into our own lives, we. I've released the words from hell, from the, the demonic entities, from the kingdom of darkness. We've released them into the sun, programming them with it, O oh Lord. Which did not only affect our own lives, O oh Lord, but also other people's lives. Affecting destinies and purposes that you have for them and for us. Father, we truly repent. We repent that even before a child is born into our DNA, into our bloodline or into our family, we already dedicated their times and their seasons to these demonic entities. Seeking um, the future, the purposes and the, this, and the destinies for that child, we, we sought for them from these demonic entities, rather than seek you, Lord. We truly repent, mighty God. For the trades, the transactions, the agreements, the covenants made with these demonic entities, Lord, which gave them legal rights, to steal our harvest, to bring delays, to hijack our times and seasons. Yes, Lord. To manipulate our times and seasons. Father, we truly repent with all our heart. Mighty God. We also repent, O oh Lord, that for subjecting ourselves and our bloodlines and the resources you, you resources you gave to us, O oh Lord, we gave it up to them. We submit them to, to these demonic entities, O oh Lord. So much that they we've allowed them to control our times. Oh, time is running out. To detect what should what happens when it happens, how it happens, we give them too much. We give them control, and we give them so much control. Where we are the ones who are supposed to be in control of our times and seasons through Christ Jesus, Lord, we repent with all our heart. We truly. Are sorry. Forgive us, o Lord. Forgive us. Because we 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 allowed um these demonic spirits, their collaborators, you know, to manipulate our times and even um the <coughs> the aliases, oh Lord, to bring fear and torment and um 
and worries and anxieties and um, lack and um, even violence, oh Lord, and helplessness and hopelessness, oh Lord, we allowed all of it because they took hold of our time. We truly repent, Father God. We truly repent. We truly repent. Forgive us, O oh Lord. Have mercy upon us, O oh Lord. Is that when we confess our sins that you're faithful to forgive us and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness? Cleanse us from all unrighteousness, O oh Lord. Forgive us and cleanse us with the precious blood of Jesus, I mean with the living water. And the fire of the Holy Spirit purify us, O oh Lord. And not just us, but our times and our seasons, O oh Lord, cleanse and purify. For Jesus Christ redeemed us and all that has to do with us. He redeemed all of creation. And that includes time and seasons, O oh Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. Amen. Hallelujah. So, is there anyone else? Yes. Okay, go ahead. Father God, as we stand here on behalf of ourselves, our bloodlines by marriage adoption and birthright, we bring repentances, O oh God, that we and our ancestors have made birth charts. We have believed in astrology. And Lord, we in pursuit of trying to know the future, we have consulted with astrologers, palm readers, tarot cards, ancestral, uh, our ancestors, and Lord, we have Use tea leaves, osier boards. We have sinned against you, O oh God. Lord, you decided, you designed everything for us, O oh God. But in place of asking you, seeking you, knowing your will, Lord, we have been seeking the demonic entities and their plans and purposes. Lord, we have defiled ourselves, we have polluted ourselves. We seek forgiveness, we plead mercy. We seek forgiveness, O oh God, that we have allowed Satan to manipulate the sun, moon, stars and constellations in our time. Lord, as people in the body of Christ, we were supposed to deal with this, but Lord, we have been failing you. We seek forgiveness. We seek forgiveness, Lord, that we have worshipped the sun, moon, stars and we have allowed all the manipulations of Father and we have done the manipulations, we have done sacrifices in the seasonal cycle, we seek forgiveness. We and our ancestors, O oh God, in pursuit of gaining power and wealth, we have done sacrifices, incantation, legislations, programming into the seasonal cycle and we have sinned against you. In the name of Yahushua HaMashiach, we have prayed. Amen. 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 Thank you, Lord. Anyone else? Okay. Father, we bring um, every year, every generation of our bloodlines, every year, that we all the way from Adam and Eve up until now, and we go forward, O oh Lord, and bring the future to infinity. We bring them before you. Our times and our seasons, O oh Lord, all of them, mighty God, we present to you. And Father, Jesus Christ, our Yeshua, redeemed us and all of creation. We ask, mighty God, that all that was done in each of these years up until now and all that is 
yes, that is being pro that has been programmed into the into the future, our future, to infinity, mighty God, to so we'll see you face to face. Done with the earth, O oh Lord. Father, we ask that by your mercy, O oh Lord, and we repent with all our heart, and through it, Lord, ask you to cleanse us and cleanse our times. Yes. And this, yes, and the seasons, O oh Lord, cleanse with the precious blood of Jesus Christ, make it with your living water, and purify us, purify our times every year, even before we were born, from the time of creation, O oh Lord, to present, every year, every season. Mm -hmm. to present and from present to the future cleanse mighty God and purify yes Lord and Lord we ask that you will sanctify us in our times in our seasons we bring to you and sanctify unto yourself for you are our righteousness and our sanctification sanctify unto yourself lord we apply the redemption that we did oh lord where our times and our seasons and our all of creation we are redeemed with the precious blood of jesus christ that blood is here we apply that blood redeeming our past our present and our future Yes, Lord, we apply the blood. We apply the blood of Jesus Christ. With which you purchased us, O Lord, out of the, the bondage, the grip of the end of the kingdom of darkness, and translated us, yes, Lord, into the into the kingdom of your son Jesus Christ. The blood that is flowing in this room of repentance, we apply that blood of Jesus Christ. To redeem every year, every season, from the time of Adam and Eve to present, to our present and to our into our future, completely redeemed and secured in Christ Jesus. Let the blood flow to our past, to our present, into our into our future. To infinity and from the beginning across to eternity. Let the blood of Jesus Christ flow and stamp every year, every season, every all the times and seasons that have occurred, that are occurring, and will stamp with the precious blood of Jesus Christ. The blood, the blood, the blood. Yes, silencing every word. Every frequency, everything that is not of you, removing it that is part of the cleansing and establishing the blood, or that the blood is speaking over us. The blood of Jesus Christ. The blood of Jesus Christ. The blood of Jesus Christ. You have made us free by this precious blood of Jesus Christ. You redeemed us. Yes, Lord. So we sanctify with this precious blood of Jesus Christ, mingled with your living water, and the fire of the Holy Spirit. Sanctify. We dedicate our years every year every time and season from the time of Adam and Eve to present and from the present to, inf to the future in unto infinity, we dedicate completely and totally to you, our Yeshua, Hamashiach, the one who paid the price in full for us, the blood we dedicate to you, completely and totally redeemed, sanctified, 
and dedicated to you, the rightful owner. Yes, now Yeshua Hamashiach plug into these times and seasons every year from the time of the Adam and Eve to present and from present to future to infinity and from the beginning across the eternity program with you. You are the word. The, and Yes, Lord. Yeshua Hamashiach program as you didn't fit by the by your blood that has been shed for us by your living water and seal with the spirit of god in the mighty name of jesus christ we thank you we bless you yes for redeeming us in our times in our seasons in jesus mighty name amen and amen Yes, Lisa. I just wanted to repent. Lord kind of brought this to my mind. For the times where we have fallen into um, agreement with the words that we have spoken, such as I'm running out of time or there's not enough time for this. And anytime that we um, in rebellion um, and or just culturally or are we aligned with the saints of of uh and and we came into alignment with another time and another season that's outside of your time in that season but we just want to bring that before you and we're asking for the repentance of it father we're asking that the blood of jesus will cover every idle word that has been spoken uh, i've even uh, heard people say there's just not enough time in the day there's only 24 hours in a day and all of that is just where we are um, coming out of agreement with your kingdom and what you have said and we're coming into agreement with with another timeline another season father which is asking that you would forgive us anytime we also um bow to worship at the gates of a different time or a different season um any uh, doorway or passage of time um any different type of time frame beginnings or endings where we were out of alignment with your kingdom we're asking right now father in this place that we could um we bring our repentance before you and we're asking that you would forgive us. Forgive us for every, um, even, even celebrations and festivities where there's dedications and all types of revelry that takes place and, it's, and everything is out of your timing. And it has really even, Father, I'm just seeing where it's affected even our bodies where our bodies have uh, vibrated with the wrong vibrations, the wrong seasons, the wrong circadian rhythms, the wrong timing. Father, we just bring all of this before you in this petition today. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Amen. Also, Father, in the, um, in the presence of cleansing, also, Lord, also cleanse us from all the memories of that have been programmed into us into our system whether it is into our spirit into our um soul into our mind into um the cells of our bodies into our dna lord cleanse us oh lord have mercy and remove um the memories you know um the um the old ways of doing things he said the with any man, any man being in christ jesus the the old is gone and the new is come Lord, the old is passed away. So, Lord, remove it with the, with the, uh, um, with the memories, so that we do not continue to function in those um, times, um, times and um, seasons that are not aligned with you, Lord. So, Father, remove cleanse, O oh, Father God, from our, from us, from our heart, from our soul, from our spirit, from our um, mind, from our DNA, O oh, Lord. Cleanse us completely and totally. And um, also the our matrices and our links, oh Lord, that's um, got the links and matrices, oh Lord, that you would cleanse them as well. The old is gone indeed. The old is gone. We have wandered. 
these um, mountains long enough, O oh Lord. It is time to be free, O oh Lord. So we ask for that freedom through cleansing and sanctification unto you, O oh Lord. Total dedication to you, mighty God, in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen and amen. Thank you, Lord. Yes, um, Pramud? I have one repentance to bring in. Father God, we bring repentance for our procrastination. We procrastinate things out of fear. We allow resistance. You have called us, O oh God, to be responsible, but we don't, we are not responsible. We are complacent. We are procrastinating things, prolonging it, O oh Lord, not understanding that we have to do it now. Anytime, O oh Father God, where you have spoken to us, to do something in that time and we have not done it, oh Father God, we seek forgiveness, we plead mercy, we say we are sorry God that we were not available, we postponed it and we did not give heed to the Holy Spirit, we say we are sorry. In the name of Yahushua Hamashia, we have brought this repentance on behalf of all who are here, in the name of Yahushua, Amen. Amen, Amen, Amen. Okay, um, we'll be moving forward. Thank you, Lord. We receive your cleansing. We receive your forgiveness. We receive your mercy. You receive your forgiveness. We receive your cleansing and your sanctification on those purification and sanctification to you, Lord. Total dedication to you. Thank you, mighty God. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Wow. Okay, we're stepping out of the room of repentance and we're going into the um, court of creation. Okay, Father Almighty God, the creator of the whole universe, we ask for your permission to step into your court of creation. We coming as, uh, yeah, I'm also hearing um, Court of Times and Seasons. Okay, okay, thank you, Holy Spirit, that is right, okay. We come in as the plaintiff, we bring ourselves, our families, our households, our bloodlines, our DNA, and our... God, the matrices, oh Lord, we coming, yes, Lord. We are the plaintiffs. Yes, we call for members of our bloodlines that are in the cloud of witnesses. We call for them to come in. We call for the um, 12 tribes of Israel. Reuben, yes, 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 yes. Yes, um, Judah, Zebulon, Issachar, Dan, Gad, Naphtali, Joseph, which was um, split into um, Ephraim and Manasseh. And Benjamin.
Also, we call for the books of um, our books as written. Yes, you have here for us in heaven the book. Yes, containing the destinies and the prom and the purposes, the the prayers. Mm -hmm, the decrees and declarations you've really, you've issued in our favor, answered prayers, O oh Lord, the prophetic promises that you made to us, the calling for those books to be brought in, including the records that showed, um, yes, all the other sessions we have we've had with you concerning our times and seasons. Mm -hmm. We call for them to be brought in. We we yes, I'm hearing ecclesia. We are the we are representation of his ecclesia. But what you're also calling for the twelve apostles that's you know of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Peter, Paul, James, John, Matthew, and the others, yes, so the 12 apostles, that's the ecclesia of Jesus Christ. So the Lord Jesus, uh, um, even though he um, is here as our mediator, he's also here as our high priest, as uh, the, uh, the apostle of our, mm, of our faith, as our Yeshua. And as the line of the tribe of Judah. Okay. Thank you, Your Honor. And for the defendants, so that we call for... We call for um, all the human collaborators, including ungodly elders of our of our bloodlines, yes, and our mattresses and our yes, mm -hmm. or we call for them to be brought in one way or the other. That's dedicated our times and seasons, or traded our times and seasons. And uh, yes, with the kingdom, with the um, with demonic entities or demonic spirits. Dead or alive, we call for them to be to be brought in. They are the yes, all of them that the group one are the group one defendants, the human collaborators. Yes, including the the priests and priestesses, evil priests and priestesses. However, with their offices and their titles and their job roles and assignments that um, um, assisted them in um, or they themselves in um, making these trades with the, with the with um, demonic spirits, is we're calling for them to to be brought in. Even the present ones that are alive in the earth. So that they are dead or alive, we call for them to be brought in. Yes, Lord. We call for the group two defendants. We call for, yes, the demonic entity, Kronos. And his tribes.
Yes. Um, some members of his tribes include um, Vigo, Taurus, Capricorn, Sagittarius, Aquarius, Gemini, Aries, Cancer, Leo, Libra. And um, the also there are members of there are some uh, members of his tribes that yes that are in charge of the seasons. Yes, they also present themselves as gods and goddesses. We are also calling for all, yes, let them be brought in with their offices, with their, yes, their thrones, with the, all, all the authority that they were given to them by humans, all of them. Mm -hmm. In regards, to, even by ourselves, we call for, yes, all of the, the, the authority that was given to them, that we gave to them, let them be brought in with them. Mm -hmm. It, yes, we're also calling for all their aliases to be brought in with their tribes, including Lucifer and his tribes, the Queen of Heaven and her tribes, the Queen of Coast and her tribes, Leviathan and his tribes, all the principalities and powers, rules of darkness of the world, which which will get to high places, and their tribes that collaborates with um, this demonic entity, Kronos. Let them be brought with their thrones, with the authorities that were given to them. So let as they are all the group two defendants, and let them be brought in with the with the agreements and the titles. No, the agreement and the title deeds. That's yes, whatever that their legal rights are. Yes, Your Honor. First, for the group three defendants, we call for their for um for all of the creation that they they took hold of, one way or the other, mm -hmm. and in um all the false. Yes, creation that they they created. The f yes, including times, false times and seasons to overlay or to entrap us, to overlay what you have for us, Lord, including the purposes, their purposes and their assignments and their agendas and their, um, what is it called again? Their false and um, destinies, they are, mm -hmm. yes, they are false um, laws and regulations and um, legislations that you know govern the govern all of these. Um, yes, and false. Um, what is it? Is it injustice? There's the the injustices. They said that they're doing um, justice, but it's false justice. Yes. Um, oh, seek time and harvest, but then they, they are not following, they're not executing what you have laid out, Almighty God. So yes, so all of their own creation or manipulation of the cre of creation including their systems their laws their principles their legislations their um all that they use to 
govern the our uh, yes to rule over our times and seasons then the oh yes the synthetic um and organic creation that they they created they are the group three defendants So the, the, the group for defendants, we call for the altars, the platforms, the gates, the portals, the highways, the byways, the passages, the routes, or the structures of darkness. Yes, Lord, the devices, the instruments, the equipment. Yes, that have powered, sustained or sustained the, um, the operations of the group to defendants, these demonic entities, yes. If across, we are calling for them to be burden from all the realms of creation that they were created. Yes, where they have been created, these platforms and um, evil altars. However, they exist and their representations, oh Lord. Even the ones that were created in our, in us, in our families. In our bloodlines, in our in our um, matrices, oh Lord, in everywhere you've given a jurisdiction, Father, we submit them, yes, to be put as part of this group for defendants. They are the group for defendants. And for the group five defender, we call for all the covenants, agreements, dedications, yes. Trades, transactions, ties, links. Associations and connections, oh Lord, that gave the group two defendants legal rights even the group one defendant has legal rights into our times and seasons into our lives we also calling for all the verdicts and edicts of hell that give them the legal right. let them yes to be put together as group five defendants It's all the vows, the oaths, the promises made to them. Mm -hmm. From the very beginning across to eternity, wherever they exist, we call for them to be brought in as group five defendants. It's for the rituals and the sacrifices performed on these evil altars and platforms <coughs> excuse me we call for them to be brought in and be put together with the group four defendants those evil altars and platforms where the yes and the gates thank you holy spirit we are calling for also the frequency the elements of creation that they use their own their fires their waters, their air or wind, all the elements of creation that they use, they created or that they use, Lord, we call for them to be brought in and to put together with the group three defendants.
Okay. Is there anyone else that we're missing, no, my dear? <coughs> okay. Almighty God, our Father, the King of Kings, the Judge of the whole universe, Jehovah Bore, we start by doing our renunciation, O oh Lord. We come, we, in total agreement with all that Jesus has done for us by the blood of the Lamb that has been shed for us, by your word, I said that two cannot walk together, I said they be agreed, and by the Holy Spirit, the seal guaranteeing our inheritance, Lord, and through whom we cry, Abba, Father. We completely renounce, we renounce completely and totally, past, present, future to infinity and from the being across eternity. We renounce group one, group two, group three, group four, group five defendants. We do not have anything in common with them. Yes, Lord. We do not want anything in common with them. We renounce them completely and totally. We denounce them, we reject them. All that we gain from them, Lord, we return to them by the precious blood of Jesus Christ. We return them to the completely and totally mighty God. We renounce them and their offices and their roles and their and their responsibilities and their actions and all their authority. We renounce them completely and totally. Lord Jesus, take away from them their authority. We want that back. We purchase it back with the precious blood of Jesus Christ. For you said, Lord, that you have given us all authority in heaven and on earth. So, Lord, remove that authority that we, that we give to them. Lord, remove them and take them back, Lord Jesus Christ. All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to you. And Lord, now for the group one, group two, group three, group four, group five, Lord, we fire them from their thrones, from their offices, from every area of Allah that they have, they have occupied, past, present, and future, infinity, and from the day across eternity, they are permanently and forever fired. Yes. And they cease with um, um, immediately from this court, right here, right now, they cease to function in those offices, in those thrones, on those thrones, in those places, yes, however, um, wherever that has anything to do with us, Lord, they cease to function. They are fired completely and totally. And we ask for immediate execution of this firing. Yes, we also renounce completely and totally all the activities and actions and events that have taken place in their own timelines and, and seasons that have affected us, O oh Lord. Yes, however, all we renounce them completely and totally. The outcomes of the transactions that were made with them, O oh Lord, we renounce completely and totally. We renounce, we renounce, we renounce, we renounce them, and they remain renounced forever and ever in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We ask that mighty God that in the place there will be wiped off the memory from us, from our lives, from our from our spirit, from our soul, from our bodies, from our DNA, from our families, from ev from all of creation. Wipe off the memory of yes, and all of that we're done with them, all of the act activities and actions that we're done with them, O oh Lord. Wipe them off from um, from um, um, the memory of them completely and totally, and replace Lord with your own words, with your own activities, with your own things, mighty God. It is for freedom that Christ has made us free and you have redeemed us from the kingdom of darkness and translated, 
translated us into the kingdom of your son jesus christ therefore based on things that the lord jesus has achieved for us we ask for divorce sever us completely and divorce and sever us completely and totally from group one group two group three group four group five defendants mighty god yes past present and future infinity and from the beginning across the eternity the lamb of god was claimed for us even from before the foundation of the world therefore mighty god we request for us yes for complete and total divorce and severing from these defendants for all the trades and transactions all the sales that took place mighty god whereby they put they took they were able to purchase and took hold of us in our times and seasons lord we apply the blood of jesus christ and and pay in full all the liens that they have on us oh lord and then the trades and transactions oh lord we nullify by the precious blood of jesus christ for lord you have redeemed us from the kingdom of darkness therefore we call all those traits and transactions nullified and yes past present and future infinity we nullify with the precious blood of jesus christ and that we are redeemed from them we redeem ourselves and our times and our seasons yes from those transactions we redeem completely and totally with the precious blood of jesus christ Yes, Lord, we also ask for, for uh, we petition you to divorce us from the consequences and penalties of being divorced from these defendants. For Jesus Christ bore our consequences and, and penalties and the chastisement that brought us peace, he bore on himself. So therefore, Lord, we ask for total and complete severing and divorcing from them. Two cannot work together, said so they'd be agreed. We don't want part of them. We don't want anything to do with them. We... Mm -hmm. all our things all our stuff that they took or that we lost to them we ask for total restoration of them including our times and seasons yes we got we ask for complete severing from these tribes of the 12 tribes of um them the, of chronos yes not just Corus himself, but his director and all the other LSS, all the different group two defendants, completely severed from them, O oh Lord, and that we be lined, aligned, and merged with Jesus Christ, who holds our times and seasons in his hands, and with the 12 tribes of Israel that you have given to us, Almighty God, and the 12 and the 12 apostles that you have also given to us. Yes. All that you achieve, the kingdom, the establishment of your ecclesia by the twelve tribes of um or by the twelve tribes of Israel and by the twelve apostles, mighty God, the foundation laid, Lord, we said that we be aligned with them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we ask that Father God that um, that you will issue a decree that you pass your judgment upon Group One defendants, Group Two, Group Three, Group Four, Group Five, and as for Group One, Lord, any of them that you would choose to show mercy, that they would receive Jesus Christ into their hearts as their Lord and Savior. And that Lord, you will bring them on board that they because it's not your desire that anyone should perish in hell, it's not a desire that they should perish in hell as well. Lord, we ask that Father God that you would um show mercy to whom you deem you would want to show mercy to, and to the rest, mighty God, that you would execute to them or execute upon them immediate judgment as you deem fit in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. 
and that they that they are, the evil that they have been executing be, that we be cut off completely and totally from it not just for the past and present but also for the future ones that they may be planning to do father god we want total freedom from it totally cut off from it oh lord that whatever rituals and sacrifices that they may perform to try to re um um steal our times and seasons or reset our times and back to evil time timelines and seasons lord we reject it and ask you lord that it cannot that you bring it to total and utter destruction in the mighty name of jesus christ in their place almighty god we call for the godly elders that you have assigned to us that they would take their place including ourselves that we will take our place and rule and reign and establish your kingdom in all of the earth as you Yes, as you have called us to. In Jesus' mighty name. And for the group two defendants, Almighty God, we ask that, Father God, that you would take away from them all that we lost to them. They stole from us. Whether they stole it from or that we gave it up, Lord, we, that you would take it away from them completely and totally and that our, we put at our times and seasons and all that has been you know that have been waiting to be manifested the blessings of oh lord the answered prayers all that is written of us in our books here in heaven that lord you would take away our times and seasons from them and the title that they have in their hands oh lord and be put in christ jesus the line of the tribe of judah for cleansing, for restoration, and for reprogramming. And we call for the living letters of Aleph and Tab, just G, the, Jesus, the word of God, including the living letters that are written of us in our books here in heaven, all those promises, all those prophecies, all those um, answered prayers, the destiny and the purposes of God for our lives, Mighty God, we call for them to be poured into our times and seasons. Yes, aligning with all that you, the hour of them that have been poured into us, oh Lord. Bringing us and our times and seasons. Yes. And all that is of us in alignment inside um, the lion of the tribe of Judah. Let the light from the line of the tribe of Judah penetrate and bring that recalibration and realignment and resetting, even to the extent that even the DNA, our DNA is re is reset and realigned and reset to um, with this living letters and living word, as written of us in our books here in heaven, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Now, Almighty God, bind these demonic entities and their tribes, O oh Lord, with chains, hooks, and feathers, and thrust them into your prison and lock them up with locks that have no keys. Also, Lord, L L L L yes, release the light of your of your glory to as um, your, the electrifying light of your glory upon them, O oh Lord, perpetually in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And Lord, we hear that. We ask that Almighty God that we be we be aligned with um, your own times and seasons, as you, yes, your own times and seasons, and um, and the festivals and the activities and the events that you, O oh Lord God Almighty, have already purposed for us. For in Deuteronomy thirty verse twenty it said that you are our life and the length of our days. Lord, and mm -hmm. so all their voices, all that they have, they are releasing into us, Almighty God. We are that Father God that you shut them down completely and totally and out that they speak no further, they speak no more into our lives, oh Lord. And we release, Mighty God, 
let your own voice, let what which you're speaking, that your voice that sounds like thunder, your voice that is so powerful that 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 um, even um, splinters the cedar. Almighty God, according to Psalm 25, let your voice penetrate into every fabric of our being, let penetrate into our times and season, and realign and reset it to be all that you are speaking, Almighty God over us and you continue to speak there will not be any hindrance anymore there will not be any um blockade there will not be any diversion or delay or hindrance to all that to your voice speaking into our lives oh lord it will be like your light as you as soon as you're speaking it oh lord it will be manifesting according to psalms 33 verse 8 to 9 as soon as you spoke they became oh lord and so shall it be in our life going from now and and on and onward in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Now, King of glory, in your hands is our times and seasons. Come in and take your place, O oh Lord. Sit on the throne and rule and me and rule and yes, rule and reign in our midst. That are you tabernacled amongst us? The word became flesh and tabernacled amongst us. Come in, King of glory, and rule and reign. Yes, our Yeshua, our salvation, our sanctification. Come in and rule, King of glory, our light. Come in and rule, King of glory, our Lord of hosts. Come in, King of glory, and rule in our midst. Yes, our victorious champion, our champion warrior. Mm -hmm. Come in, King of glory, and rule in our midst. The Lord, strong and mighty, the Lord, mighty in battle. Come in, King of glory, and rule in our midst. You that, that sit above all of creation, all things were created by you, through you, and for you, and in you all things consist. Come in, King of glory, and rule over our times and seasons in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen, and amen, and amen. So we're going on to the group three. Yes, Lord. Release your judgment, O Lord, upon the group three, mighty God. Release your fire, your hailstones, your, your coals of fire, your tsunamis of living water, your instruments of death, your bumps of truth, your angel armies, for all that destruction, none shall be shall escape, nothing shall be standing, not even a speck of them shall be left behind. Make an order destruction of them, O oh Lord God Jehovah. Yes. Their works cannot stand. You said their work cannot stand. It shall burn. Yes, it shall burn in the fire like stubble. Where um, all these things that they created, mighty God, Father, we call for the sun, the moon, the stars, the planets, and all the elements of creation that you have given to us, O Lord, have created for us, O Lord, and that they be purified, sanctified, with the precious blood of Jesus, men God, with the Father, the Holy Spirit, and the light of your word, and that mighty God, that they would take their place, and that we we reprogram them with your word. Yes. Perpetually, they are your word, they will be, they will be, uh, they will bring glory and praise to your name by releasing your word unto us, Lord, and they, that, that you will reset them and bring them back and put them and bring them back to um, to rotate, to function, to um, operate according to how you have purposed and designed them to be in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We release your word, which is our Father dwelling in the heavenly realms. May the glory of your name be in the center on which our lives turn. Manifest your kingdom realm and cause your every purpose to be, to be fulfilled in our lives and in all of the earth. Therefore, we grant with your purposes they will fulfill your purpose. They will by yielding their increase to us. They will yield their increase to us and they will refuse 
to receive or accept any evil programming or any evil investment into them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We cover them with the blood of Jesus and mingle with the fire of the Holy Spirit and the light of your word that they will not um, be used against us. The sun shall not smite us by day nor the moon by night. The elements of creation shall not work against us. Rather, Lord, we ask you to favor us with all of your creation that they would work um, in collaboration in in um they would work in favor with us to to reflect the glory of the lord in all of the earth and by so doing reveal the knowledge of yahweh and fulfill the purposes that you have for us establishing your kingdom in all of the earth in the mighty name of jesus christ yes it says in psalm 19 it says from verse 1 the heavens declare declare the glory of god and the firmament show your handwork day unto day utter speech and night unto night reveals knowledge that there is no speech no language where their voice is not heard their line has gone out through all the earth and their words to the end of the world he said in them you have set a tabernacle for the sun which is like a bridegroom coming out of his chamber and righteous and rejoices like a strong man to run his race its rising is from one end of heaven and its circuit to the other end, and there is nothing hidden from its heat. Yes, so we program the names of the Lord Jesus Christ, who is our Son, the Son of Righteousness, into the Son, O Lord, that so this is what it will be releasing upon us. Yes, Yeshua Hamashiach, our salvation, our redemption, our sanctification, our righteousness, our wisdom, our husband, our glory, our beauty, our king. Our friend, our brother, our life, our joy, our peace, we also release the righteousness, yes, but with the righteousness, the joy and the peace in the Holy Spirit, the kingdom of God into your sun, into your moon, into your stars, into you all the other elements of creation in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We also release the names of our Lord God, the Lord God Almighty, Jehovah, Nisi, Jehovah Sikenu, Jehovah Makadesh, Jehovah Shama, Jehovah Shalom, Jehovah Ra'a, Jehovah Kana, Jehovah Kain, Jehovah Nisi, Jehovah Gboa, Jehovah Saboth, Jehovah Isus Milkama. Jehovah El Shaddai, Adonai, Jehovah Bore, yes. Jehovah El Mekeslano, Jehovah El Gemoa, Jehovah Ashib, the Lord of the Harvests. Yes. Also, he said that every every your mercies are new every morning, Lord. We release, we program the the sun, the moon, the stars, the planets, and all the other elements of creation. Your mercy and your grace. Yes, grace and truth came through our Lord Jesus Christ. So we release that into the sun, the moon, the stars. This is what they be giving to us every day. Your mercy, the mercy of the Lord. And the, good, and the goodness of the Lord, the grace of God revealed so that we can bring to you crowns of glory and lay them at your feet, Lord Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And to the group four defenders, Lord, we ask that you release your fire, your brimstone, your, 
the instruments of destruction. Yes, your angel armies for the utter destruction in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. No structure of darkness is shall be standing. All the exchanges that are going on amongst them, O oh Lord, utter destruction. We, we ask for the utter destruction in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Make an utter destruction, yes, Lord. With fire immediate, yes, none shall be standing. Yes, Lord, with no trace of them, mighty God, with no trace of them. And in their place, we take the cross of Jesus Christ, Lord. Have your angels take the cross of Jesus Christ everywhere that they were, mm -hmm, they existed. Also, yes, where is it again? Um, in their place, oh Lord, you said we can always, always call in, where is it, is it 18? Yes. In their place, almighty God, according to Revelation 21, from verse 18, we call for a reconstruction and establishment of what you have for us, oh Lord. said the construction of its wall was of jasper. The city was pure gold like clear glass. Yes, Lord, you said we can ask, we don't have to wait till when we get to heaven to have these things. We can call for them to be given to us um, um, even in the earth. So we're calling for the, um, for that there, for there to be new construction that you said, this one is built with your own hands. And that um, in Deuteronomy, you told the children of Israel that the land they're coming into is a land that which the eye of the Lord watch over you know, that it is, it drinks rain from the heaven. So this is the work of your hands. We call for you to, um, you know, to reconstruct our times and our seasons, oh Lord, and establish it with, um, with, with this wall to be of jasper, the city to be of pure gold, and that the foundations of this, of these, um, mm -hmm, of this construction, oh Lord, to be adorned with all kinds of precious stones. Let it be um, um, put in place, O oh Lord, to replace all of these structures of darkness that have been removed, mighty God. Yes, yes, the first foundation to be of Jasper, the second Sapphire, the third, is it um, Chalcedony or Chalcedony? The fourth Emerald, the fifth Sardonyx, the sixth Sardius, the seventh um Chrysolites, the eighth beryl, the ninth topaz, the tenth um, chrysopras, the eleventh jacinth, and the twelfth amethysts. Lord, also let the twelve gates be established, O Lord, um, built with twelve pearls. Each individual gate was, uh, let it be of one pearl, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And in Revelation 22, verse 2, you says in the in the middle of each street and on either side of the river was the tree of life, which bore 12 fruits. So we ask for full restoration. Yes. Full restoration from the tree of life, which is Jesus Christ. And that every month of our year, every, mm -hmm, there'll be fruits. That's even the fruits that we lost. Oh Lord, that they fully restored back. We receive them. Let me put back into our um, mm -hmm, be fully restored to us now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh yes, even past fruits, past harvests that were lost. Oh Lord, we call for them to be you know to be restored to us. And Lord, um, that our times and seasons be aligned with your own times and seasons to bring um harvest. To us, we receive, we receive by faith in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Okay, to the group five defendants, oh Lord, we call for utter destruction of all these covenants, agreements, ties, links, oh Lord, we call for their utter destruction, integrated connections, yes, all of these defendants, yes, and their, um, included the verdicts of hell and the edicts of hell, all of them, we call for them to be already destro destroyed and be removed completely and totally from our times and seasons. Yes, 
including the backups and power sources that be gonna live and totally destroyed. And we ask that mighty God, that you will stamp every document, every picture, every symbol, every, every sign, however they exist, that bear them mighty God across all realms, dimensions and dimensions, oh Lord, and even our timelines and seasons, wherever they exist, mighty God, that they will, that you will stamp them with the blood of Jesus Christ, nullifying them completely and totally as evidence that we have been severed from them. According to Colossians chapter 2, verse 4, that, that Jesus took all of them out of the way and nailed them to the cross. So Lord God, you will stand them with the blood of Jesus Christ and have them nailed to the cross forever as evidence that we are complete and totally delivered. We in our time, times and seasons redeemed from the kingdom of darkness and have been translated into the kingdom of your son of love yes in that place we call for the full activation of the covenant you made with yourself concerning us the covenant that we have with you in christ jesus and the covenant you made with our father abraham we call for the that co to the, this threefold covenant to be fully activated the covenant of mercy and grace the covenant of peace and prosperity and blessings. Yes, the covenant of protection and preservation. The covenant of righteousness and justice. The covenant of, yes, the covenant that you made with us, O Lord. We call for the full activation now. Immediate and forever and ever fully activated. For the covenant is an everlasting covenant. Yes, we sail it, to, uh, we sail it with the blood of Jesus Christ. And with the word and with the spirit of God sealed for eternity. Yes, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen and amen. Hallelujah. Is there anything else we are missing here that we need to? Um, Pramud? No. We, you, by grace of God, you, God has helped us to deal everything. Yes, yeah, so it's like the Holy Spirit um, changed some things on, uh, on, on me. You know, He was like, okay, no, as you have the Lord remove and put, as you know, going through the defendants, have Him remove and put, have Him remove and put. You know, um, anyone else? Is there anything else that we're forgetting? Lisa, Brenda, Teresa. Dennis, the, would you just, there's a, um, and I don't know if this is one that you've already covered, because I know that you, with, with the deities, there's a deity by the name of Janus, J-A-N-U-S, that is like a god of uh, gates, and, and I don't know if that's already included with the tribe, with Kronos. So, you, you know, ask the Lord about that, whether or not we need to include that one. Okay. <clears throat> so, Almighty God, our Father, did we cover all the... Um, yes, so, uh, yes, you heard, um, Lisa, that there is a deity, a fallen son of God, named um, Jason, J um, Janice. You cannot be answering my name. I reject. I take it away from there. <laughs> you can't. No, 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 no. Two of us cannot. No, 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 no. Spell it again. J what? J A N U S. And it's the okay. God of two. Janus. The God, God of two faces. Hmm. Yeah. But it's also the God of gates. It's a Greek God. Hmm. Oh, the Lord is saying that when we called for their aliases, so because there are other ones too, we don't know. So they were all brought in. Yes, go ahead, Brenda. I know the let's talk about there's a duality, something with a duality that is a it's a female and a male, a male, you know, and the interchange. So Lord, um, we in, we call for the um, 
for yes because i'm yes i'm also hearing um yes the duplicates wherever they are we didn't include duplicates yes lord thank you yes we call for um are there other gods and goddesses that we didn't include father we call for them to be included as and be dealt with the same judgments that you put yes and we renounce them completely and totally and let them be dealt with the same judgments that you've given the defendants group too so that yes they are amongst them and for their duplicates and the duality or their twins and their clones we include in uh with group is it group three and then there's yeah, some of them also fall into group four Yes, mighty God, yes, and make an utter destruction of them. We renounce them completely and say that the same judgments you are executing on group three and group four, let them be let them be met with the same judgment as well. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Okay, one more thing. Yes, thank you, Holy Spirit. So Lord, we ask for you to place a restraining order, we issue a restraining order against the group as all of the defendants. We do not as uh, except group one and group two that we do not want any hijacking of our times and seasons again. We do not want them tampering or interfering with our times and seasons again. So Lord, we ask you to issue a restraining order against them, ban and burn them from our from us and our times and seasons and the activities of our lives, from our purposes and our destiny, from everywhere you've given us jurisdiction, no oh Lord. Ban and burn them from them, yes. And banish them. We, yes, Lord, banish them from those places as well. And uh, from us and everything that and anything that has to do with us. Let the consequence, also as part of that restraining order, let the consequence of death, bondage, and even imprisonment be made against them should they violate their, their, their restraining order. The Lord is saying, you know, now you cannot use as to ban um, to bar them as far as the east is from the west. So, Lord, what do we use? Okay, we um, bar them from our past, from our present, and from our future to infinity. From the beginning across the eternity, bar them in time and out of time of out of our yes. In season and out of season, bar them from all from every year, yes, up until now, every year now, and every year after, bar them completely and totally and banish them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. That is how far the yes, that is how far the, the um they are to stay away from us and from everything that has to do with us. Thank you, mighty God. Thank you, awesome God. We we also ask for you to issue a protection order against them, for us, against them, and all that belongs to us, including our times and seasons. So uh, they are like uh, yes, a protection that covers us and our and our families. Mm -hmm. A permanent protection order, Lord. By the blood of Jesus Christ, by your word, that I said that the sacrifice of, of the Son of, of the Lamb of God is the sacrifice made once and for all that covers all our uh, yes, all our times and seasons, past, present, and future infinity. Mm -hmm. And by the Spirit of God. And eternity belongs to you so lord yes so mm -hmm. permanent protection order against them for us and for all our times and seasons and all the activities the purpose your purpose and your, your destiny for us lord as programmed into our times and seasons the lord in the mighty name of jesus christ Okay, you said um, yes, Lord. Yes, that um, we. You said to put us. Yes, we forgot that part. I I didn't. I forgot it. You know. Yes, um, to be removed from. 
their um, times and seasons and be reset to your eternity. Yes, we said to be reset to your times and seasons, but also includes eternity, you know, so that we, um, we would see things the way we see, it, see them and not be saying, oh, we're running out of time, we don't have enough time, and be, no, we want out of being severed out of those there, that their times and seasons and be aligned with your eternity. And Lord Jesus, we come as your bride, even here with all the our times and seasons and all the purposes and, and, and destiny that God has for us, your plans. And you said the, the future you have for us are, 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 are to, um, um, uh, the plans of us are plans of good and not of evil, plans to bring us to the expected end of good, the expected end of the destiny that you have for us, to bring us to the, into the destiny you have for us. Therefore, Lord, we bind our hearts to your heart, Lord Jesus Christ, our Yeshua. We bind our soul to your soul, our mind to your mind, our bodies to your body, our eyes to your eyes, our ears to your ears, our hands to your hands, our feet to your feet, one with you, Lord Jesus Christ. Yes. In all things, at all times and seasons, from the beginning across to eternity, past, present, and future, bound together as one, entwined with you as one, O Lord. Just like you said in um, John chapter 17 and in John chapter 6, one with you, and John chapter 15, one with you. You are the, the tree of life. We are your branches. Yes, Lord. One with you. One with you in times and seasons. One with you in purposes and destiny. One with you. And we can, so that as you are here in heaven, we shall be in all of the earth to the honor and glory of your name in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen and amen. Thank you. I'm, I'm not sure if I got all of that part and um, pieced correctly because I um, got, got all of it completely. Yeah. Okay. No, not Yeah. Um, completely. Be so Lord Jesus Complete it, complete it, because the download was was happening so fast. You know, I was not able to keep up. Yes, you are our our groom, and we are your bride. You are our head, and we are your body. Completely reset and aligned with you entwined as one with you past present and future to infinity from the beginning across the eternity in the mighty name of jesus christ amen and amen and amen wow anything else yes, yes lisa I, I keep getting something and, and maybe it has to do with fragments but is there is it I don't know. I don't know. Is it possible for um, there to be? You, well, we know about captivity, so I'm just wondering if if there's parts that are caught up in the uh, timelines or the times and seasons of these deities <laughs> that need to be freed, released, and and yeah, I guess that's what I'm getting. I keep getting this word habeas corpus. Well, that that like which be, word? Uh, uh, it's a legal term called habeas corpus, where mm -hmm. you're you're held without. Yeah, you're being you're being held, and so that's I keep getting that. So I don't I don't know. Are there any fragments? That's what I'm thinking. There might be fragments that are still maybe in captivity with okay. with the deities. Mm -hmm. Yes, Lord. So in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Lord, for all the fragments of our spirit, of our soul, or any part of our body that is in, held, that's being held in captivity, 
including any fragment of the souls of our family or bloodlines, oh Lord, any DNA that has been held in captivity, yes, any of our mattresses that have been held in captivity, of these um, demonic entities, including in Kronos, or any of our harvests, any treasures, any mm -hmm, blessings, anything that belongs to us, you know, gifts, talents, anything that belongs to us that has been, that's been held in captivity with them or hidden inside them. I'm kind of seeing like um, that um, Kronos, the, that demonic entity has some things, a lot of things, like these things that are so shiny inside him, but those are things that were taken away from us, you know. Yes, held captive or being used by them one way or the other, enslaved or doing their bidding, Lord. Mm -hmm. Father God, we, Almighty God, we call for them to be taken out of them from captivity. Yes, we purchase them with the precious blood of Jesus Christ. And we see a word that says that that that's, <clears throat> that's we should ask and we should receive. So we ask for them to be removed from their from inside of them and anywhere else, whether they are um, anywhere else they are being held captive. Lord, we call for them to be brought in, even in their vaults, vaults within vaults, their vaults within vaults. Yes, they are, um, them, um, is it, would, it, would it, we call this treasure chests within treasure chests? Small, there's this, like, they, like, they do like small boxes within small boxes. Yes, however, and wherever they have hidden, Lord, you can see the details, you can see it, nothing is hidden before you. We call for all of them to be brought in. And now we ask that your angels will put them in, inside the, um, the line of the tribe of Judah, Jesus Christ, our, um, the apostle and high priest of our confession, our apostle and high priest. For cleansing, purification and sanctification, O oh Lord, and restoration. Yes, Lord Jesus, let the light. I know, yeah, yes, but the one we did it for was for all those things, and not that didn't include this one. It included it was just our times and season. So let them be restored completely and totally back to the original. The, um, yes, your original plan and purpose, your original design for them, O oh Lord, the original way that you've created them to be. Lord, and we ask that for the um, that your light, Lord Jesus, penetrate into them for the full restoration. Hmm, and come alive, and let them and wipe away the memories of what they went through or what happened in the region of captivity, in the regions of captivity. Yes, and the loyalty because the memory will call, you know brings back loyalty or stay out to act in the old ways the old is gone why in christ jesus the old is gone the old is gone let it be gone now completely and totally and let the new the new with the with all the new things you have been be, be programmed into them now in the mighty name of jesus christ and now lord we have that they be restored back to us the rightful owners it puts back in place where they were missing from. We receive, we receive, we receive them now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen and amen. Um, Lisa, did I take care of it? 
Or that's just something Absolutely. that needs to be done. Huh? Absolutely. Absolutely. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you, Father. Thank you. That was really awesome, you know. That was really awesome. So, Lord, is there anything else we are missing? We have to have our times. We yes, it cannot be. We are not going to want. Yes, so that scripture. We should release that scripture that He gave to us. What is it again? Is it Deuteronomy? What um, Lisa? Can you release that one? And then um, there was also one other word that uh, He He gave to Pastor Aaron about moving forward. Um, Lisa, can you re um, get to the scripture and release it? And then Pastor Ann, can you release the word after Lisa? Release the word that the Lord gave to you. But now you will when you finish it, you will not say, We declare, we release that word, you know, we release that word. And so that it to be programmed into our times and season, into us as well, into our lives, oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. So so Father, we just come before you and we release, we give back to you your, your word in Deuteronomy 2 and 3, and we are in agreement with you that we have circled this mountain long enough. We have come, we've come past this mountain long enough. We've been wandering around the hill country long enough, and it is time for us to turn and go forward. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. And, and we turn and we go forward right behind Yeshua HaMashiach, our Adonai. Amen and amen. Yes. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Yes. And Pastor Ann? Okay. I, I, I think she said something about, okay, maybe she's not available now. She said something about um, going forward as well, that she heard the Lord. Yeah, she did. That's right. Yeah. So uh, then, then you've covered it. Yes, Lisa? Um. Yes, Eddie? Yes, we, I, I think we have really dealt with so many things um, and dealt with it today. I mean, glory, glory to God. Yeah, I just okay. wanted to also... Sh yeah, sorry. Go ahead. Yeah, I just also wanted to share and maybe to be a form of declaration, but when we what came into the, the, the uh, court of creation... Mm -hmm. Okay, not long after you started, I saw gold dusts, all right, coming down. Mm -hmm. And we're all like, on our bus, what is this? Can you see this? You know, we're just saying, can you see this gold dust? I was like, Lord, what's, what are you saying? And, you know, he, he, what he said was, you come up out of here purified as gold. You know, Praise you God. come out of this purified. And I was like, you know, I was okay, Lord. Um, there should be a confirmation. So as you were praying and you got to the part where uh, you were talking about, uh, I think, uh, the cities of uh, and the foundations, the city of mm -hmm. heaven, and, you know, laid with gold and said, there is your confirmation. And, <laughs> uh, <laughs> and then we, you went on, you know, with the prayer and you talked about nothing will be left unturned lord with nothing and he said yeah because if by the time you come out you come out as gold so nothing will be left unturned so yeah Praise God. So, <clears throat> thank you so much thank you thank you for that so um therefore lord let nothing be left unturned although yes yes and let everything that needs to be laid I'll be completely laid out and ex executed, oh Lord. No more shall our times and seasons or our lives, that is our life, be hijacked. No more, no longer, oh Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. So now, precious Holy Spirit, you hover over all that has been done and bring them unto full manifestation in all of the earth, that it will be in it will be on earth as it is here in heaven. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we thank you, we bless you, Almighty God. We glorify your holy name that you always, always, always favor us. Lord, you always, always favor us to do for us that which no one else can do. And we thank you for doing more exceedingly, abundantly, above and beyond 
all that has transpired here, we have imagined, or even that was given to us, O oh Lord, just because you are good. And from now onwards, O oh Lord, we, we go into the earth being the visible displays of who you are. Yes, the way you have always wanted it to be. But there are times and seasons, you know, functioning, operating according to what you have desired, your intentions, your purposes, your will, your destiny, your plans for us. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, no one shall hinder it. No more. No one shall revoke it. No one means no one shall reverse it. We decree and declare it to be so as your ecclesia in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen and amen. Thank you, Lord. Wow. You know, one of the things that the Lord made me realize said in the room of creation, in the course of creation, you know, creation, you create things and you create with the word of God. So we can, you know, release the word. We can create, we can... I would need confirmation on this other one. Maybe, you know, we can even, yes, make declarations. We can make declarations. Of course, we can make declarations, you know, and maybe make decrees too in the court of creation. Because creation is also where you create things that you can create things. And we create through um, decrees, declarations, and um, releasing the word, right? That's how we create with his word. So thank you, Father. I was like, wow, that is true. We're in the room of creation. Thank you, Father. So we are done. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Okay. We stepped out of the court of um, creation. We will be heading into. Wow. This could be why. Yes, this could be why. Because they know when you're dealing with creation, you're creating. This would be why they use words to program. If they, 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 how do they invest evil assignments into, into creation? It's through words. They make incantations. They make they perform rituals. And that as they're performing those rituals, they're releasing words. So this frequencies, you know, becomes what gets programmed into the, the sun, the moon, the stars, and all those things, you know. But then so you also use the words to reprogram, yeah, to, you know, to get creation working in a, working for us. Wow, that is awesome to know. Okay, let's run around. I would like, um, okay. Joy, how are you feeling? How are you doing? We're going to go to the room of. Um, yeah, I feel much better now. Mm, praise God, praise God. Um, we'll do, I'm looking. Teresa, can you do the bread for us? Will you be able to do the bread for us, Teresa? Sure. And then, um, Brenda, can you do the cup for us? And um, Pramud, please close us out. Thank you. <laughs>
Father, thank you for the gift of your son. By the stripes that fell on his back, our bodies are healed from the crowns of our head to the very soles of our feet. Our timelines are restored. Every cell, every organ, every function of our body and our lives and our spirits and our souls are healed and renewed in Jesus' name. We believe and we receive. Father God, I thank you. In the name of your son, Yeshua, Lord God, I thank you for the blood of Yeshua that enables us, Lord God, to be conformed in full obedience to Christ and his will. The blood of Jesus gives us the power to overcome the enemy of our soul. The blood of Yeshua justifies us, makes us, Lord God, set apart holy for the true and the living God. And we thank you for the blood that speaks and still speaks, Lord God. The blood, this new covenant that is written in the shed blood of Jesus Christ. We thank you, Lord God, that it never loses its power. It never fades. It forever stands. The most essential and powerful substance in the universe. We thank you that we can partake of the blood, body and blood of Yeshua that causes us to stand before the true and living God. And I thank you for the blood. And especially at this time, as we enter into a time, a season, Lord God, we ask that we will continue to partake of the precious blood, body and blood of Jesus Christ always remembering you, always remembering, Lord God, the sacrifice that you made for each and every one of us. And we thank you, Father God, in Yeshua's name. Take and eat. Drink. Thank you, Lord. In Yeshua's mighty name, thank you, Lord. Father God, we thank you for the deliverance, the new verdict. Thank you for connecting us with your Kairos time. And Lord, let me ask of you, O oh Father God, that every word that was spoken in this prayer call be sealed for time and eternity. We ask that these words be recorded in the books of heaven. We ask that the angel armies be released on our behalf so that we see the blessing of Lord that makes us rich with every spiritual gift in heavenly places that is legally ours by the right of our eternal covenant with Almighty God. We seal this work in the blood of the Lamb by the power of the Holy Spirit by the word of God. We declare according to Isaiah 55 11 that every word in agreement with the will of Father shall not return empty without accomplishing what he desires and without succeeding in the matter for which it was sent. We declare that the Holy Spirit's breath, zoo life is upon the prayer. We declare that the enemy shall not release against our life, our families, any curses, counter curses, strategies or retaliations against our health, marriage, children, grandchildren, finances, ministry, destiny or well-being. In Yahushua's name we have prayed. Amen, amen, amen.